Thank you. Welcome back to the program. When it comes to feats of escapology, our next two guests really are number one, and we always speak to the number one people in this country. Please welcome Arthur Coglin and his daughter, Helen Gillard. Welcome, Arthur. Hi. Now, I am nervous about this already, but Arthur, if you can just tell us exactly what Helen is going to do. What Helen will do, she'll be locked inside the barrel. Mm -hmm. Now, normally we have a Victor Sutton motor here, with the exhaust into the side of the barrel. Mm -hmm. And when Helen is in, we normally start that and the carbon monoxide goes into the barrel. Now she has to be out before the carbon monoxide killed her. But unfortunately, because of the problem with the sound today, we're not allowed to start the motor, so we do it without the carbon monoxide. So we apologize for that, but it might be a benefit to Helen. Right. So Helen will basically Helen. step into the barrel. In fact, if you're ready, so, Helen. Helen, this yep. is all yours. Helen will step in. Fantastic. Security from SeaWorld obviously have examined the barrel. Mm -hmm. They've had it in pieces. Now, how long has Helen got to get out of this? Normally, well, how long would Helen hopefully, there's not that much air in there, particularly it's blocked off here now, mm -hmm. so she hopes to be out in three minutes. Mm -hmm. Now, Helen is in fact your daughter, Arthur. That's right, yes. How long have you been trying to get rid of your daughter like this? <laughs> oh, we've done a few crazy things. Now, if we could have it locked, we have the locksmith. Yes, Vince Tre and, and Trevor. Uh, Trevor is our locksmith and Vince is security for SeaWorld. So, uh, could... Um, oh, around, oh, sorry, <laughs> Trevor and Vince. Um, this is your lock, nobody's tampered with this, no. it's your personal one from... From your... Frank O'Neill, yep. Okay, and you're locking this, so you're completely confident that this is all true, accurate? It's a very high security padlock, so she certainly won't be getting through those. Okay, and uh, your security at uh, SeaWorld, have you checked the barrel and done all that? Yeah, I previously checked the barrel and it's all secure. Okay, what do we do now, Arthur? Well, we push it into the cabinet. Okay, I'll, I'll move out over here. Right, now we've put the cover in front. Okay. Yep. And you're the only one who's got a key? Have you, in you your experience as a professional um, locksmith, ever seen anybody open one of these without a key? Not Why, what makes it so good? Well, just the going. Time is going now? Yeah, we have the time of going. I'm going to call out the minute, then the two minute, and we'll see how she goes to the three minute. Mm -hmm. And uh, we might just step forward in a little sure. while. It's all right, okay. no danger. You, you tell me the, when. The front will eventually fall down. Oh, uh, but yeah. that can only be released from the inside. So okay. There's no hassle. And we'd also point out the promoters, of the, our promoters have put up $100,000 to anybody who can escape from this barrel mm -hmm. at any time. And that's... Uh, $100,000. So that's the bet. If anybody can escape the way Helen um, is bound to today, yes. $100,000. $100, yes. That makes, yes. makes you feel fairly confident. Very confident, yes. And I hope Helen feels just as confident. We might just start to move forward just a I, little. She don't I'm moving forward. It's all right, there's no danger, but I don't want anybody uh, getting hurt. Mm. And, uh, How long does it take to work on? Uh, what, what is it? Is it speed? A lot of speed, principles, also breath control. Breathing takes an important, mm -hmm. very important part in it. Mm. Uh, and it's just a skill that's acquired over the years. One minute, is it? So we've got another two minutes to go. Another two. Mm. Okay. It's a skill that's acquired over the years. So the breathing is very important. Breathing is very important. Helen's done quite a few underwater stunts, as I have mm -hmm. also. Underwater is very, very dangerous, of course. Okay. And this is normally dangerous to carbon monoxide in, but unfortunately, we, couldn't, so do we, we couldn't, couldn't do today, but this anyway. This is not your first time on Midday. Oh, no, no. We've been on Midday way back till, <laughs> way, way back. And in fact, you did the most amazing Houdini uh, uh, illusion trick. There it is, Helen, the water torture, yes. Wow. Yes. Tell me about this. She's hanging upside down in the water. Handcuffed, chained to a steel weight, handcuffed to a steel weight, upside down in the water. And she's given the, I think we had two minutes to escape from that, otherwise she couldn't hold her breath any longer. Mm. So there oh, it is, yes. That is just... That is chock-a-block full of water. That glass is one inch thick. That's an incredible escape. Incredible escape. Mm. When Helen was a little girl, as your daughter is a little girl, did she always manage to escape from those lassos you used to put on here? Uh, we never had to really... We really never had to put in one of those. She was a pretty good child. She's been a bit of a nightmare since then. I bet there's a few mums here in the audience today who reckon they've got a couple of kids as escapologists themselves. Would you agree, mum? We'll, we'll look after them, that's no harm. <laughs> we might just take another step forward. Another Mary, step yeah. forward. Yeah, I'm, perhaps I'm one more step forward. that'll do. Okay, we've got no problems here now. Okay. That's all right. Um, uh, how many times have you done those underwater tricks and those sort of... Um, oh, I lost count over the years. Lost count over the years. And we're, uh, we're going to Russia. Uh, next month, actually, we've got uh, 10 shows booked in Russia. We Russians have... love you from what I am. <laughs> Me at all, ladies and gentlemen. I'm in 
total control. I knew that was well, going to happen. Down there, can, yeah. can, can we have it? Yes, we by allowed? all means. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Yep. What do we do here? Helen, that is just amazing. We were we talking to Arthur about. Poof. Yeah. Get the lock switch like double over this. Um, I'm still. I'm glad you warned me about the earplugs. Take it on so the camera can see you. So, that's all. There you are. Will it? Again, let's do the time. What was the exact exact time you got out of that in? Brian, did you get the time? Two minutes. 50, it was. Two minutes fifty. Is that a record for you? Um, I don't. Is that a record? For you? <laughs> I'm not really too sure what we've done this. Now look, pretty quick. we didn't step this. We haven't been found with the door at all. No. But how do you get out? <laughs> Security, can you come and can you come and check this barrel? So you you were the only ones with keys there. Absolutely. Security, just check it all. Have you got a hint? Help. None whatsoever. None whatsoever. <laughs> And the bottom is intact. Security, are you happy with that? The I bottom is intact. Yep. That is truly yep. amazing. Well, Arthur, I just, I just don't know what to say, folks. I, trust me, I'm here looking at it, locksmith, security, and it's just spectacular. Helen, congratulations uh, yet again, and I'm glad you've got a glass of water there. <laughs> Ooh, Arthur Coglin, thank you, and uh, your daughter Helen Gillard, just sensational. Also, uh, Vincent Trevor, thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Please thank our guest, Esther Collins, extraordinaire.